Hello YouTube, this is Savan12986, and this is a tutorial on how to make a keypad style locking system for a door. Um, I've seen some tutorials where instead of having buttons like this, uh, you have switches, uh, and I don't really like that system because to, to close the door and to reset the code you would have to set all the switches back down or back up or into the off position so nobody knows, but with buttons, you know, you can just press the button and then it'll work and then you won't have to go back and reset so what I'm gonna do is uh, well what I did is I t spent some time trying to figure out a system to make this work and uh, I found out how to do it and so now I'm gonna show you guys uh, so the first thing you need to do is figure out what uh, code you want your system to have um, and for this demonstration we're gonna have this as the code these three uh, so what you need to do is you need to isolate the three that your code requires and then connect all the rest of the buttons. Um, one thing you need to note though is this middle button right here, uh, that one's going to pose some problems. It's nearly impossible to wire without this crossing or being a or shorting out other circuits. So the only way to get this one to be a viable button is if it's is if the code does not use this middle row at all and then these three are all set as uh, bad buttons I guess uh, all the buttons that are not uh, parts of the code are getting wired together and those go to the reset so if it's one of the reset ones if this whole row is reset then you can use this middle button otherwise you can't so what I've done back here um, this is the system for separating the wires uh, so we've got down here this wire leads to the bottom middle uh, this one right here is uh, one of the ones next to it I've brought it out, out and around so it's easier to work with uh, you could run it straight underground but that's kind of annoying for demonstration purposes then this one is middle uh, on the left side so if you when you're looking this way it's on the left you know, when you're facing the keypad and this is the middle right, top middle, and then these two, this one, uh, for these ones you gotta go above, uh, actually, I think, no, that'll work, I think, just in case, we'll, uh, we'll wire it up like that, so, that's how you, uh, wire up the system so it accepts all the inputs, um, and so now we need to have this one, this one, and this one uh, be uh, not contacted by any of the other ones, but all the rest of them we can. So what we're going to do is uh, figure out a way to have all of these interconnect with each other. So now these two are connected. That's good. We need that. Uh, this one we need to bring down. And so now these these three are connected so now all three of these activate the same signal now we've got to get the rest of them uh, to connect as well so this one's one of the ones that needs to connect so for this one I think we're gonna tunnel so there now that one's connected to the rest of them now let's see which other ones do we need uh, that one needs to be its own this one needs to connect. What did I say we are using? This one, this one, and this one. So this one does need to hit. That one already does. This one we can't use. This is just there so it looks good. Um, it's just kind of a fake button. It's not going to do anything for this. So we got that one wired up. Now we need to get this one down here as well. So we're going to bring this down. Actually, no, because we need to separate this one. So that one needs to stay separate. This one needs to stay separate. This one up here needs to stay separate. 
So we're going to go around instead. Okay. So now we've got all of the ones... This wire right here leads to all of the wires that uh, need to trigger the reset function. Uh, what we need to do is figure out how far the farthest wire goes, because it can only go 15. So let's see, this one's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's going to be 15 right there for that one. Now the other one may be a little longer, so we'll have to check that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nope, okay. So now these sh every button should be able to make it to here and work, so we'll run this wire back out so we can test them just by looking at at it and making sure that one works that one works that one's good that one's good and that one's good and then this one won't do anything so okay all of our reset switches are wired correctly. So now what we've got to do is bring these three out uh, and get them set up uh, with a... Let's see, what's that gate called? Uh, I think it's a... It's an RS NOR latch, I believe, is what it's called. So we need to set each one of these up with an RS NOR latch. So we'll uh, we'll bring this over, so we uh, have room to work. So we'll do this one first. All right, an RS NOR latch is actually a, a pretty simple circuit. It's uh, three by three. And then you just connect the circuits like this. Um, the only thing you need to make sure of is that the switch is being... this is like the output side, so we need to make sure this is off until that button is pressed. So... Alright, so I figured out what my problem was. Uh, you actually have to have the redstone come to the top of the uh, the little whatever these are called. So now when that button is pressed, it'll activate this system and it, this wire will be on continually. So now we need to do this for the three other, or the two other, buttons that we have for our combination. Okay. So now this one should work too. So now we'll just test this and make sure. Yep, we're good. Okay. So now all three of these uh, work correctly. So what we need to do uh, is now connect all of these other wires that aren't uh, lit up to the reset. So, we're going to have to figure out some fancy wiring, or uh, some fancy routing, I suppose. Uh, probably going to have to connect them all underground. Okay, so now when we press any of the wrong buttons, uh, let's say, for instance, this one, all of the output wires, which are you know, these ones, should be off, and all of the reset ones should be on which they are. So the system is wired correctly. So now what we're going to do is cover this back up and then continue on with our build. So now the next step uh, is to build... Why is... oh. My uh, right mouse button was stuck in the on position. So now what we need to do is build some AND gates. 
So, an end gate's a pretty simple structure. Uh, it's got two torches on the top, one on the end, with redstone in the middle. So now what needs to happen for an AND gate to function is that both inputs uh, need to be on, which means that this one and this one both need to be on for this to work. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wire this up to another AND gate over here. So now we've got two sets of AND gates and then this one right here is the wire that's going to go all the way back to the door to activate it. So we're just going to run this around. And you would have this underground so, you know, people can't see it. We're going to place a repeater there. And then keep this running back over here towards the door. When we get close enough, we're going to put this underground. Okay, yep. So we need a uh, not gate uh, to reverse the signal and turn it off so the door is closed by default, which it is. So now we need to run this wire over here. So now what we're going to do is enter in the keypad the correct sequence. Actually, it doesn't matter what sequence it is as long as the three correct buttons are pressed. And somehow it's not working. Okay. So one of the buttons has worked. This one. This one has not. And, oh, I think I know why. The reset signal is still being sent. Okay, so the reset does work. Now it's off. Okay. So this is how you need to wire the reset so it's not actually on top because if it is, then it will continually send the reset signal to all of the uh, all the RS NOR latches. So now we're going to try again, enter in the sequence on the keypad, and this door should open up. Oh, we need uh, another repeater. Okay, there we go. That worked. And now, as we... Oh yeah, we do need to, uh... We do need to wire this to one of the not... Uh, correct... Thingies. So... I forgot about that. Is this one of the correct sequence? No, it's not. So this one can... In fact... Short circuit. Uh, stuck. Yep, there we go. Okay. So now that this pressure plate is connected to one of the bad key presses, uh, as we walk through the door, it'll activate and close the door. But because it's sitting next to it, it'll still open when you're coming through from the other side. And so that's my uh, system, right as night is falling. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'm... Uh, Savan12986, and uh, this was a tutorial on how to make uh, keypad locks. I also have a Let's Play series, so comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks. Hey guys, uh, something I think I forgot to mention um, is when you're uh, entering in the signal, or the, uh, the uh, sequence of the keypad, uh, if you enter any of the wrong ones, it will completely reset. So if you go like this, it'll be reset so the door won't open. Uh, and hitting any of the wrong ones while it's open will also reset it. So that way, you know, if you're just messing around hitting buttons on the keypad, you know, it won't just open. You have to hit uh, all three uh, in a row without hitting one of the other ones. And it doesn't matter, like, you can hit them backwards. And hitting the same one again won't close it.